through guys, I'm back in the Cairn Gomes. This time I'm in Glen Shee and I'm about to go up my first Munro, first of hopefully 10 over the next uh, two days. So I've come out a bit later than I wanted to. So after that Munro there, I think I might have to pitch up. So I'll see if I can do two, maybe three, I'll push maybe four. Once I get up, as you can see, it's just small ascents and back ups. So 10 million rows might sound like fucking hell, that's a lot. But you're not actually going back down to sea level for all of them. Like I say, that's the ambition anyway, whether I actually do it or not. Right, I've stopped for three seconds and I'm. I don't think you can see them. Covered in them, midges. So I'm gonna to have to um, move on up. Hopefully there's a little bit of breeze to get these fuckers off me. So guys, that's where we started down there. We come up this, and then up over here, up to the summit cairn. I don't know the name of it, well I do, but I can't pronounce it, so I'll put the name up along the bottom of the screen, along with its uh, meter ridge. So this is the first Munro of the day, sixth Munro of my life, and there's Munro number seven of my life, two of the, uh, the day. So I'm going to see if I can get two or three in before I have to pitch up, and let's see if I can get the other seven in tomorrow. I might only do the six, just do the nine, because to get the tenth one I've got to go out my way. Some cracking views up here, like, and it's still pretty calm, which is good. There's no midges this high up, there's a little bit of breeze knocking them away. So there's the first um, Munro. And there's the second there. The weather is closing in. So, let's see if I can get the top there without waterproofing everything up. And then hopefully maybe to the third one and then... Um, and then set my uh, pitch we tent up. But I'll make that decision once I get over there, I'll check the map, see how far it is to the next one. Um, and make me decision whether I'm going to try for the third or just set me um, tent up. Like I say, by the time I got out it was uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so time is pushing on. It's about 6 now, I think. 3 hours to get to this point. It uh, would have been quicker, but I stopped to gas to a few people on the way up, as you do. Anyway, I'm in no rush today. I'm staying out overnight. I'll do the rest tomorrow. Obviously, the more I can get done tonight, the better. But, um, yeah, I'll be setting up before it gets dark, hopefully. So this is the summit of Glass Mowl, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is the highest of all the peaks, by a measly 4 metres. This is 1068. The next one is 1064. Off our well that way. Clouds cleared on, yeah. In fact, we're above the cloud. In some places, anyway. It's eerily quiet. You can't hear anything. It's amazing. Usually when I'm on a mountain or a hill, it's fucking blowing a hooli. Right, I think I've made my decision. I'm going to push on to the third one. Whether I summit or not, I don't know. I'll probably camp somewhere along the way um, but yeah I'm gonna push along to the third one can you see that bloody massive these hairs huge and fearless look you can still see him <laughs> he's miles away he's massive Make a good stew. Right, anyway, I'm gonna stop babbling. I'm gonna pick up my sticks and move off. So guys, after uh, spotting the deer, just down here, and then coming up here to this cairn, I thought to myself, this doesn't look right. <laughs> 
So I've got the map out and I've only got myself geographically embarrassed. So I've come down off Glass Mall, which you can't see anymore, which is the other side of there. And I've come this way when what I should have done was on that ridge. So I need to be over there. Anyway, I'm going to stay here tonight. I'm going to pitch my tent up. Um, and I'm in clip as well. So I'm not even sure if I'll carry on tomorrow, to be honest with you. So it might just be the two when I sack it. Because um, my hip and my um, left knee, all on the left side, they're all like seizing up. Not like cramp or anything, but um, I don't know, I just get like, I don't know, I've just got really sore hip and my knee is stiff. So I'm going to sleep on it, see how I am tomorrow. And then I'm going to have, you know, I've added some on for me, so I'd have to go all the way around there. If I do do it tomorrow, I won't be doing the 10, because to do the 10th one, I think it's called Broad Cairn. Um, I've got to go out my way and then back on myself. So, if I do do it tomorrow, I'll be nine, but if I'm still in clip, I'll just be going back the way I came, back the car. Um, but you know, it's no biggie. I've come out here, I have no time pressure or anything. I just wanted to get out in the mountains, and that's what I've did. It's fucking beautiful. <laughs> so, whatever happens, if I have to go back, if I can carry on, I'm not really that fussed. I'll just come back and do it another day. Right, i find a flat bit and set my tent up. So I'm just, um, some water down my neck, rehydrating. The orange monstrosities up. Again with the focus, what's going on? There we go. Orange monstrosities up. Got me Lidl's bag there with all me scoffing. So I've got burgers for tonight. I've got one bottle of brown ale. I don't want to get uh, dehydrated. And as we speak, and as you can see, the clouds come in. It's starting to rain. Slight breeze, it's fine. I can deal with that. What I can't deal with is midges, but they've gone. <laughs> Thank God for that. So, if it stays like this, no midges, I'll be happy. It still sticks out like a sore thumb. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna have the uh, one cheeseburger. I'll take the other one home. Only really fancy one. I'm gonna have that, and then for afters. Three cookies. I'll smash them as well. Love cookies. Plus, give me that sugary energy I need. And then I'll have me a uh, bottle of Nuki in a bit as well. Right, guys. So I'm going to enjoy my bottle of Nuki Brown, my cookies, and then I'm going to bed. I'll bring you back in the morning. My cracking views, like that looks so pretty. Again. Sorry about that, I don't understand why it does that. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good day, as was forecasted. I mean, he feels a lot better today, but I'm still getting a little bit of jib in my hip. So, what I'm going to do is walk back across to Glass Mall and evaluate how I feel. Starts hurting again, then I'm just gonna sack it and go back. Um, if not, I'll push on. Right, guys, all packed up. You can see where I was. So I'm gonna head off back over there. First, I'm gonna eat my cookie, the one left over from last night. A little bit of a sugary energy rush before I set off. Some fucking lovely views up here. I missed this coming in a bit again, but <clears throat> as long as you can see a bit, the mist, you know, it's, it's quite good. I like the way it, it looks. Obviously, the mist I usually get, you can't really see your hand in your front of your bloody face. But this, I mean, look at that, it's stunning. You can hear the water smashing down the uh, hillside there. 
down into the glen or the valley. Can't get over how nice it looks. <laughs> if I could build a house up here, I would. So it rained last night. There wasn't much wind though, so it was all right. Considering I was pretty much on a cliff edge, but which is where the poles are. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I just can't stop looking at it. It's beautiful. But I don't get why places like this, I'm glad they're not, but I don't get why places like this aren't crowded. Just look at the natural beauty. I could easily just sit here for a bottle of water for a good half hour to an hour just looking. Right guys, so I'm sat in the uh, storm shelter of Glassmall, if that's how you pronounce it, as you can see. Um, I've decided to come back up here and just summit it again before I go back, just because, um, you know, if I follow the track to skate around, you might as well just come up. So I've just come up to summit it again. Um, it's only an extra 100 metres or something up. Um, so I'll show you on the map where I went wrong yesterday. So this is glass mall and for some stupid reason I've followed this track round went over little glass mall which is where I was on the last clip and then I've stopped around about here realised what I've done when I'm looking across here thinking I should be that size um, yeah so camp there walk back now I could have followed this track round and then hit that track because that's the one I need to go back to the first summit which is that one Craig Leach, Leach, I can't pronounce it and then I follow that track back down to the car park which is on the first map um, but yeah so what I've done this morning is come back along this track rather than going up there I've just cut across straight up here there is a Land Rover track you can follow so I've just it's not on here like, but it's, it is there so I've just Followed that all in fact, I think it starts about here. So, I've just followed that all the way up, hit the summit, and then I'm just gonna. So, this behind me now in reality, so where I'm sat now, I'll have to walk behind me towards this track, hit that, and then follow this back. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Not that it matters now because my knee's in clips, so I can't go on. You know, it's it's not really a cop out because I've still got to go pretty much. Well, I do now because I've went up it to go over two Munros and some big ass hills anyway just to get back. Um, if I carried on, I would have to go all the way up there, all the way up here to Tom Biddy Biddy. I can't pronounce them. I'm going to stop trying to pronounce them. Then back across to Tallmount. So that'd be the other two Munros. The tenth one I wanted to do, I would have to go off up this way, again off map to um, Broad Cairn, and then come back, and then you skirt round here. Which I'll show you. Yeah, see, so skirt round here to. Is it that one? Yeah, I think it's that one. Cairn Turek, or whatever you call it. And then you hit this track, come down, cross this bridge, up onto the A93, follow it down to the Cairnwell. Do Cairn, a soda, the Cairnwell, and then come along this track to do um, that one there. Whatever that's called. Or it might be that one. No, no, you passed that. 
corner and sack, it is that one. So you go to that one, uh, can't pronounce it. And then I'm parked here. So the thing is, once you get down back off here, you've got to, yeah, so that car park there, you've got to walk this, and that's all uphill. Once you get, yeah, these are only about another four or five hundred metres up. So you go up that one, come down this one, and then come back down to that track, and along to that, and then come back on yourself. Back down, and follow the 93 back down. So I will do that one day, when I'm in better shape. Um, well, I think I'm fit enough to do it. I'm just not physically fit enough, as in I've got a dodgy knee at the minute, but um, I think I'm physically fit enough, as in fit enough to do it. What the hell am I talking about? Just babbling on. Can't do it because of injury, but I think I could, yeah, I would have been able to do it, even with a backpack on. I started at three, I was making decent ish time, and I was going slow, stopping for talks as well. So, yeah, I reckon I could have done it. I'll do it at some point. I'll come back and do it. So that's the uh, summer cairn of Glass Mall up there. And then I've come down that ridge line. And then up to the summit cairn of that Munro, which is just there. So that's M2 done. This one isn't a Munro, but there's a cairn there. Um, I'm just taking a rest out the sun, out the sun, out the wind. It's cleared up a bit, it's not as misty. Although, seeing that, you can't see the summit cairn anymore. So, mist has just come in. But anyway, uh, I'm making my way down in a minute, just having a quick rest. I have to look at what makes a Munro a Munro, because this is 947 metres. And there are Munros that aren't 947 metres. So, I don't know whether there has to be like a clear break in between the two mounds, because there's only a slight dip. So that might be why this isn't classed as a uh, Munro. But, yeah, yeah, probably why. You're probably only coming down about 60, 70 metres and then back up a bit. Right. I'm going to have some water and then crack on down the mountain. Right guys, we're uh, down off the mountain more or less. I've just got to go around there. And you can't see the A93, but it's just round there where my car is parked. I've got to go up there and then round the top and then back down. But I thought I'd just leave you here for this beautiful setting. Surrounded by mountains. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.